Hello students. So today we discuss about uh, potentiometer and how it is used to measure the potential difference across the two end of conductor, EMF of cell and internal resistance. That means today's topic is potentiometer. So what is potentiometer? Already last class we have to discuss about Houston bis, meter bis and its applications. So today's topic is potentiometer. Potentiometer. Okay. So potentiometer. So what is potentiometer? Potentiometer means here it has here sapra, it has two words. It is a combination of two words. That is potentio. That means it is potential. Meter means meter measurement. That means potential measurement. The device used to measure the potential difference across the two end of conductor or EMF of cell, EMF of cell and internal resistance of cell is known as potentiometer. That means potentiometer is a device used to measure the potential difference across the two end of conductor. Okay. It is used to measure the EMF of cell and internal resistance of cell. So how it is operated? How potential difference across the two end of conductor is measured? So today we discuss this topic. Okay, let's start. Actually, potentiometer like this. Potentiometer is practically sound. It has 10 meter length of wire, which is fixed on a wooden board. A wooden board or for 10 meter length of wire. Any person arrange it consists of 10 meter length of wire. Yet from this to this, this is one meter. And again, one meter length or dos dal wire. One meter length or dos dal wire. Yet and again connect for that. This I mean, yet one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, so that consider this. But in case of potential meter, it has 10 meter length. Dos dal wire and again connect for that. They are connected in series like this. Yeah, pray yeah, ne. Yeah, pray yeah, ne. A black metallic strip. A metallic strip is considered resistance to consider negligible resistance is considered a metallic strip is considered a metallic strip is considered a symbolically we use potentiometer a potentiometer symbolically can be expressed as like this but circuit we use a potentiometer it has a 10 meter length of wire 10 meter length of wire having uniform cross section area therefore it is actually connected in series so it can be expressed like this and all our aid that means all are uh, connected in series that means in case of series we know all are connected in same path series means so it is a sum total so in electric circuit it is considered like this so next we discuss about the principle of potentiometer okay so next is principle of potentiometer So that's one principle of potentiometer. Here, this is a potentiometer wire AB. AB is a potentiometer wire having resistance R. So at the two end of potentiometer wire, here you consider emitter, battery, rheostat, and T all are connected in series with the wire. Here, this cell that, that, that means this battery supply the current in the electric circuit. A electric circuit to a battery the current supply. Therefore, this cell is known as driver cell or provider cell. This cell is known as. It can operate. That means it is used to operate the potentiometer circuit. Therefore, it is known as operating voltage. That means operating cell, operating battery or provider cell. And this circuit in which emitter, battery, rheostat and key are connected. This is known as provider circuit by supplier circuit. Okay. So when key K is closed. Then we know constant current, that means due to presence of a uh, real state, we can maintain the resistance in the circuit. Okay? So when K is closed, then a constant current is flowing to the circuit due to presence of battery. If capital R be the resistance, capital R be the resistance of the two end of potentiometer wire, that means AB having length L, having length L, then potential difference across the two end of conductor that means AB is VAB equal to I into R I into R VAB equal to ok so R means resistance so resistance we know if L with the length of conductor resistance R equal to rho into L by A VAB equal to I 
rho L by A. Here I is constant. Rho is the material. Resistivity of the material. It is also constant. A is uniform cross-section. That means it is constant. Therefore, V A B equal to I rho L. That means it is constant. So it can be written as is K into L. V equal to K L. Here, here, this term is constant. So V A B equal to K L. So from this we get V proportional to L. So this is the principle of potentiometer. So what is potentiometer principle? The if steady current is flowing through a circuit, then potential difference across the two end of conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. When steady current is flowing through the circuit, then potential difference of the conductor is directly proportional to its length. So this is the principle of potentiometer. So from this, we can calculate the potential gradient. So potential gradient means that is V by L, that is V by L, that is constant K. Here, I rho by A, this potential gradient, that is V by A, or V by L. Potential gradient, okay? Liquid over principle of potential gradient key. When steady current is flowing through a circuit, then potential difference across the two end of conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. Okay? So next, Potential gradient, potential gradient is V by L, that means from this expression, we get I rho divided by A. Generally, A is considered at unique, unit cross-sectional area. Okay. So, from this, from this uh, principle, that is by using this principle, we can determine the EMF of cell in which we can, we use balance condition. We use balance condition already, which is used in uh, meter bridge and Houston bridge. Houston bridge of balance condition is used when no current is flowing to galvanometer, when no current is flowing to meter bridge. That is why balance condition is used. Then we have balance condition of trading. I mean, yet by using principle of potentiometer, we can determine we determine the EMF of the cell. So next, we discuss the how EMF of a cell can be determined. So next topic is this. So now topic is determination of EMF of cell. So how EMF is to be uh, measured or EMF is to be determined of a cell. So here this is a circuit. This is a potentiometer wire AB. Emitter, battery, rheostat and key all are connected in series at the two end of potentiometer wire. Okay. Next a cell whose CMF is to be determined is connected with a galvanometer with a metallic key joki. Only to make a meter vision to joki or a cell. It will connect. Here, position terminal of the battery that means cell is connected at the first end of potentiometer wire. So now, how we proceed to determine the EMF of cell? Can I have a proceed? I mean, process to can I get how you determine the EMF of cell? Okay, first. When the key is closed, can cause that current is flowing to the circuit. At first, key going. K to close coil, constant current flow is. It is key going. The zoki of the circuit is zoki to a point of touch screen. That is zoki to a point of touch screen. That is the key so the the galvanometer show a deflection in one side. When zoki is touch, the galvanometer show a deflection. In one side, suppose left side. This next, I mean, keep going. A zoki to yat task question. Zoki to yat task question. Opposite point of B point of. Zodi deflection to opposite side of the. Then I mean, proceed to go point. Or zodi no hoy deflection to the two direction of the A point of the two direction of the B point of zodi tar opposite no hoy. Then I mean. Process to go on. Now, that means we take connection back to our supply. Okay, sir. It can be deflection. A point dot left of deflection, B point dot right of deflection. Okay. That is what I mean. Keep going, media. So, when the zoki starts at the point M, at the point M, then we get from A to M, we get two different parts. One part through the cell, and other part direct from A to M. Other part. That means 
in between a and m a and m there is a potential difference so which emf which potential difference is equal to sum of emf of the cell and the potential difference of the galvanometer that potential difference that potential difference is equal to what the sum of the emf of the cell and the potential difference across galvanometer okay so now when jockey starts at the point m then galvanometer show a reflection one side when jockey starts at the point m then galvanometer show a reflection one side suppose left side i mean koi su hai left side right to hobo pare thik ase ki bolis amar case 1 when jockey starts at the point m then galvanometer show a reflection in one side mo one side boli koisu it can be left side or right side then we can say that potential difference a and m can be greater than the emf of cell ami kobo paru ba no kobo paru less than boli kobo paru buji paisa kan tumi deflection kon phale gase ami perfectly go pura na left to hope right to hope when the jockey starts at the point m galvanometer show a reflection it can be left side or right side suppose it show reflection left side then we can say that we can say but we can assume the potential difference a and m that is v a m less than the emf of the cell e next case 2 case 2 when the jockey starts at the point o at the point o it show reflection in opposite side if m point the task count is equal to this o point the third opposite side of reflection dile thik ase so from this we can say potential difference a to o a o is less than emf of cell ko bo par kan ago par geta de hase na ebar ami less than boli ko par kan deflection to positive ho etu direction of deflection suppose our left side ami left side hoilu ar e phale hoilu right side car deflection e galvanometer deflection case 3 when the jockey starts at the point n when the jockey starts at the point n then then ki hobo jockey starts at the point n then galvanometer show zero deflection so what happens zero deflection hole no current is flowing to galvanometer ira madari current to flow hole galvanometer madari current flow hole tete hole a path to a pora n leke je potential difference ho he potential difference to car bli ki bli koisilo ami the potential difference between a and n equal to sum of the emf of the cell and galvanometer potential difference across galvanometer but no current is flowing to galvanometer so no current is flowing to galvanometer when no current is flowing through galvanometer that means no current is flowing to the cell so when no current is flowing to the cell then potential difference is known as emf of the cell ami already pai hisu jeta kono current e flow na tetia cell to potential difference ki boli koy emf boli ko pai got already ami jano a r n or potential difference to already dekhi so the no kind of logal i am equal to v a n equal to sum of emf of cell plus sum of potential difference across galvanometer that is v g but no kind is going to galvanometer so v g equal to 0 that means emf equal to v a n okay sir so when in case t no kind is going to galvanometer then we can explain v a n equal to emf of cell yes it is a n equal to emf of cell so what is the potential difference in between a and n so potential difference in between a and n suppose from a to n a for n only a is the only wire consider it it has a definite resistance from a to n this wire has a definite resistance therefore we can consider this resistance is suppose r this is resistance is r i into r so r means rho into l by a i rho into l by a e equal to already ami jano where l is the distance between that is length of the conductor from a to n the point n is situated at a distance smaller from the point a that means from this to this length is l a to n so here i rho l by a but at first we said at first 
we consider the cross sectional area of the potentiometer wire is unit therefore a equal to 1 if a equal to 1 then e equal to i rho l so this is the formula how you determine the emf of cell i rho into l emf of the cell equal to e equal to i rho l so this is the method of determination of emf of cell so by using this method we compare the emf of two cells by using this method we compare the emf of two cells which is connected in an electric circuit so next comparison of emf of two cells okay that's so next topic comparison of emf of two cells using potentiometer duta cellular emf to ami kenake compare korim ta ami like connect koisu on the swap figure left side of figure to ekdom complete ekhe kan driver circuit right side of ami ki koisu common sense korisu first point to battery duta duta cell use korisu he duta cell eta three way ki logot connect kora ache three way ki ya ta ami duta ki connect koisu ekhole k1 ekhole k2 positive terminal dodal battery sorry potential meter first end logot negative terminal dodal galvanometer hoyte eta duta ki ami ya ta nege use koisu dekhi sa etia ya k1 aur k2 ki use koisu ar duta cell e1 aur e2 emf ene ga ami supply koisu so which emf is to be determined e1 aur e2 er value ki man hobo ami hetu determine korim first ami ki korim when t k is close t k to jodi ami close korim tetia constant current that means steady current is flowing through it at first when key k is closed then out of these two key one key will be closed and one is open e duta bitor eta key close korbo lagbo aru eta open kori rakhibo lagbo ami thoi loisu e k1 ki to close korilu k2 ki to open kori dilu thik ase so first when ki kori ami okoman likhote ki kori here we consider two cells having whose uh, two cells whose emf is to be determined whose emf is to be compared by using potentiometer by using potentiometer so we can we connected two cells we connected two cells having emf e1 and e2 which galvanometer as shown in figure as shown in figure okay so when the key k and k1 are close but k2 open when the key k and k1 are close k2 open then galvanometer show zero deflection eba agote koisilu kono galvanometer te kono deflection nidi that means no current is flowing through the galvanometer then k1 and k and k1 are close k2 open then galvanometer show zero deflection galvanometer so zero deflection zero deflection that means no current is flowing to galvanometer that means then galvanometer so zero deflection at the length kima length of n1 that means bridge is balanced potentiometer bridge is balanced at the length l1 when the key k and k1 are closed but k to open then galvanometer so zero deflection at the length l1 jeta ami joki to a p bar q kon bada point ami pass koi p bar q a point duta hoy eta l1 nole l2 length ta ase thik ase l1 length ta thakote etu jeta balance ho teta ami copen that means e1 equal to i rho l1 this is equation number 1 e1 equal to i rho l1 that means this is the emf of the cell per cell next key k and k2 are close k1 open then bridge is balanced bridge is balanced at the length l2 l2 length of balance k and k2 close k and k to close k1 open k and k to close k1 open then bridge is balanced at the length l2 then emf of the cell e2 equal to i rho l2 
এই দুই গেল আই রো এল আগর কথা এটি তুমি যদি কে ওয়ান ক্লোজ করা কে টু ওপেন করা ই আমাদের কারেন্ট না যায় জানে যদি এ টু ক্লোজ করি এ টু ওপেন করা তেনে এটু ডিঅ্যাক্টিভ হয়ে থাকিব ঠিক আছে নাও 1 বাই 2 ই 1 বাই 2 ইকুয়াল টু এল 1 বাই এল আমি যদি 1 বাই 2 করো নাও 1 বাই 2 ই 1 বাই ই 2 ইকুয়াল টু এল 1 বাই e1 by e2 equal to l1 by l2. From this expression, we can compare the EMF of two cells by using potential. Take a guess, but you guess, Saba, it will take the easy method e1 by e2 equal to l1 by l2. Well, the a from the upper base script, the a from the upper base script, I mean, uh, cellular internal resistance to be determined group, determination of EMF, oh, sorry, internal resistance, and a cellular. Internal system, we already have a pi, so internal system of formula is small r equal to uh, <coughs> e minus e by v minus 1 into capital R. Here is the formula. Here is the circuit that we have to connect with. I mean, L1 or L2 length of 3D. I mean, keep up. EMF2, sorry, internal system determined. Okay, so, next topic to us is our pass out. Determined system of internal resistance to be determined. Using potential. Next topic. Okay, so, pass out. Determined system of internal resistance of cell using potential. Next topic. So determination of internal resistance of cell using potentiometer. So we know here this circuit, this cell has a definite resistance. This cell, this cell having internal resistance. A cell to a internal resistance of cell. It will be determined for you. It will already be able to do this. I mean internal resistance of formula will already be small r equal to e by v minus 1 into capital R. Well, no, not precise. Can kind of supply by the cell, can kind of supply to the cell. Relation between EMF and potential difference. That I mean, this is where video is related. It will tell us determination of internal resistance of cell. That is related. Small r equal to e by v minus one into capital R. Okay, sir. So a formula. I mean, what can I apply for it? A formula. Okay, sir. It is one of the method to determination of internal resistance of cell. I mean, that method we have used before, which is by using length we determine the internal resistance of cell. It is potential with the main circuit. Okay, sir. That can be I mean do. A circuit to use कोई दिनो, ठीक है सर? और circuit तो लगा देता गैल्वनो भी तक कनेक्ट कोई लो, या तो आपके देखिए सर, एक K1 और लगाट, एक resistance और लगा देता की कनेक्ट कोई सर, that is K1, और एक तरफ cell कनेक्ट कोई सर, whose inter resistance is to be determined, that it has a definite E M E. First, so we know inter resistance of a cell small r equal to E by V minus one into capital R. Okay, so he is the E is the E M E, he is the terminal potential difference. Okay, so now when the key K close, K1 open, it open to the key, K2 close to the key. When key K close, K is closed, K2 open. Then, galvanometer shows zero reflection. Then, galvanometer shows, that means no kind is flowing to galvanometer. So, now reflection at the length L1. L1 length, null reflection, galvanometer so null reflection at the length L1. Then EMF of the cell E equal to I rho L1. EMF of the cell. Okay? So in this here, no kind is flowing through register. Next, when the key K and K1, K and K1, both are close. Both are close. Then Current is flowing through resistor, then we get terminal potential difference. We get terminal potential difference when current is flowing through the resistor. So in that case, so potential difference V equal to I rho into L2. That means the breeze is balanced. The breeze is balanced at a length L2. Therefore, V equal to I rho L2. A to A, zero deflection given on the L2 length. So now equation one becomes. Equation 1 becomes, I mean, use question, small r equal to, e value i rho l1, i rho l2 minus 1, capital R. That means l1 by l2 minus 1, capital R. 
So, so this is the formula. So how you determine the internal resistance of cell by using potentiometer smaller or equal to this L1 by L2 minus 1 into capital R. Okay. So potentiometer is a one of the device uh, which is operate, which is operate uh, when no current is flowing to the circuit. It is a device which can be operate when no current is flowing to a circuit. There is no current flow. Hoi. Kuno current flow no hoi. Tete amita operate koi So uh, it is the big advantage. It is a, it is a, uh, with a big advantage to measure the potential difference of a conductor instead of uh, poten in, instead of voltmeter. Okay, potentiometer can be operate when no current is flowing to the circuit, but voltmeter operate when current is flowing to a circuit. Therefore, potentiometer is preferred to measure potential difference of our voltmeter. Okay, so this is the uh, class uh, this is the discussion of the potentiometer how it is used to measure EMA internal sense and principle of potentiometer okay so from this we uh, we get uh, this is the last topic of the current electricity in the bis uh, bis uh, in the in the bis part that means uh, uh, electricity Kirchhoff law Houston bis meter bis and this is the last topic okay so after this we discuss about the various numericals related with this okay thank you